Good morning, Grizzlies. Today is Wednesday, November 11th. I'm Sarah Ibarra alongside Cecilia Diaz. Here's what's ahead on today's broadcast. State COVID-19 numbers are on the rise. Straight ahead, the governor gets specific about those numbers and pinpoints how to limit the spread of the deadly disease. Plus, the program that brought safe entertainment to area communities has come to an end. In just a bit, we'll highlight those changes coming to your neighborhood. Plus, an area man found a not-so-scary treat this Halloween at a local state park. Later in the show, we'll tell you about his shiny discovery. All this and more on this week's edition of GNN. We start the show off with the governor's daily update to Arkansas COVID-19 response. In this update, as of right now, Governor Hutchinson states that the Arkansas Department of Health reported 945 new cases, along with over 12,000 active cases, 786 hospitalized. That number is up 45 from Sunday. As of right now, the governor says there are 116 people on ventilators. That number is up 13 from Sunday. And 23 people died today, totaling over 2,000 deaths thus far. In total, over 1,022 cases have been reported. And it is important to note over 99,000 people have recovered from the deadly disease. We also want to add that PCR tests are up over 9,000 and antigen tests are reported at 721. According to the health department, top counties seeing new cases are Pulaski with over 100, Washington with 79, Independence with 75, Sebastian with 56, and Benton with 49. Governor Hutchinson released the following statement on today's COVID-19 numbers. We continue to see a high level of hospitalizations across the state. This increase can affect everyone, even those who have not contracted COVID-19. We all have a responsibility to our friends, family, and neighbors to do our part as we fight this virus. In other news, local organizers are considering keeping a program designed to keep bike riding and walking a safe space for locals. The City of Fayetteville and the regional nonprofit bike Northwest Arkansas have partnered to create this slow streets program in an effort to expand safe street space for people to walk, ride bikes, and play in various parts of the city from May to October of this year. The program was started to help residents continue their social activities safely during the COVID pandemic. The Slow Streets program was a trial for the city from May of this year until last month. The program included several neighborhoods, including the Wilson Park neighborhood and Dixon Street. The trial ran the trial run ended at the first of this month in the Betty, until the Betty Jo Drive and Jewel Road neighborhood. The organizers say they plan to resume this program next year, depending on the public's feedback they receive. We now turn to breaking news. Just into our newsroom. At this moment, 
Springdale police are working a three vehicle accident at 48th Street and Watkins Avenue. Investigators say callers at the scene reported one driver left the scene of the accident on foot. We now know that the person who left the scene of the 48th and Watkins Avenue accident was involved in another accident on Interstate 49 near the Don Tyson Parkway interchange. This person has been identified as 45-year-old Robert Meek and he faces multiple charges. DWI, leaving the scene of an accident, no vehicle license, and careless driving for his part in the original accident, just to name a few. We have no additional information on Meek or the others involved in the accident. Stay tuned with us for an update to this story. Moving on, one local man is a few carats richer, thanks to the discovery of a shiny tree. 34-year-old Stephen McCool says it all happened on Halloween at the Crater of Diamonds State Park in Merce Freeboro, Mc McCool says he was wet shifting when he came across the gym. In a recent interview, the Fayetteville resident says it took him by surprise because not only he, is he not a pro at finding diamonds, but he was on a time schedule and the conditions were rough. However, McCool says he did recognize right away that he'd found a diamond. According to the Department of Parks, Heritage and Tourism Secretary Stacy Hurst, Arkansas is the only state in the country that has a diamond mine open to the public. McCool considers himself lucky because park officials say he found the third largest diamond of the year, a four carat sparkling canary yellow diamond that is about the size of a jelly bean and seems to have great clarity. It is a stunning diamond. Wow, I'd love to have that. GNN wants to send our congratulations to Stephen McCool for his one-of-a-kind discovery. Well, Sarai, that was a lot of news. Yes, it was. But before we go, we want to send a huge shout-out to the Don Tyson School of Innovation and their new industrial maintenance program. Last month, they hosted a ribbon-cutting ceremony celebrated the opening of the facility and the start of the new program. A few special guests included Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin, Springdale District Superintendent Dr. Jared Cleveland, and the administrative staff, along with officials from the several companies that have partnered with the school in completing the facility and instructing students. We should note that industrial maintenance entails over 75 trade skills, including electrical welding, fluid, and air power, to name a few. GNN cannot wait to see the educational growth this new program will bring to the surrounding communities. Thank you for watching today's edition of Grizzly News Network. We'll see y'all next week, and remember, mask up. Adios. Adios.